everybody welcome back and it has been a crazy summer i'm glad it's finally over we are now done with our certification inspection for our organic farm and now we're just basically in cleanup mode weeding mode and building mode so we are in our future high tunnel which is exciting and i cannot wait to get this thing done so let's take a sneak peek and see what we got going on in the middle of our future high tunnel and now that we got the base done which is probably the most important part of building the structure because you got to make sure all your squares are done correctly so let's take a close look at uh, how we did that basically um, we took a string and lined it on the far side of the first pole and then just ran it all the way straight down to the last pole and at the time we didn't have poles we just had them on stakes um, but then once i did that we made sure that the string was on this side so as you tie the string and you loop it around and it's going in this direction and then when we line up the poles we're lining up the poles according to that string um, and i apologize uh, for not showing you that but um, you know we're, we're just in go mode right now so that part is done and uh that's probably the hardest part is getting everything lined up perfectly to that straight line. And trust me, there were some I'm going crazy uh, <laughs> situations because sometimes when we were digging the pole in and I was digging it in, not digging it in, using a sledgehammer um, to get this part in the ground. This is the first pole that goes in the ground. Then the second one is this one here. So once I got this in the ground using a sledgehammer, um, one by one and there were some issues as it was going down it slightly would push the string and that's the biggest thing you don't want to push the string and you don't want to be too far away from the string because that's when you're not lined up correctly so yeah there, there were some some times where I had to pull it out again redo it again redig the soil back into the hole because you know it, it throws it all off again take the soil that gets stuck in here kick that out so that was fun um, <laughs> <laughs> so, but at least that part's done. Once we got that done, all the poles are lined up nice and pretty. Um, then the next part is getting this weed cloth down. So the weed cloth is really important because once you start getting, um, once you start get going and the weeds start coming up, you're going to have issues with a lot of weeds growing on the corner. So a, a way to avoid that is to get this weed cloth down and that way you really don't have to worry about this area here at least not in the first few years and then you start cutting on the outer perimeter in terms of that goes um, that's a six foot wide right yeah yeah this is a six foot wide basically what we did was we had this folded over on one side and then uh, Kathy cut a moon shape uh, cut right on the edge uh, so if this is the tarp fold over we just basically cut it like that around here and then once we did that all the way down it made a perfect circle and then we just went over top with this and then slided it right in and it worked perfectly um, now that that's done we're in the process of putting the arches in oh, and we put staples in it to keep it back. oh yeah that's the other thing we did we put staples and you got to do this preferably on a non-windy day um, because if not, it's going to be a pain in the ass. We put staples every three feet or so, two and a half, um, all like, the way down. They're like a foot long. Uh, a foot long? You mean the staples? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're they, yeah, they're about yay long. Two little. It goes right in, and they're pretty easy. You just stick them right here, and you push them down with your hand and with your foot, um, and that that holds it, the tarp in place. Um, and we have a cover crop that we're growing right now um, just to get things going a little bit and the cover crop that we're growing is a rye mixed with uh, vetch um, and we're basically going to be adding compost in here some alpaca manure in here and as you can see we already have some of the hoops 
done. We put the pieces together. We put this one and then the connector together first. And we did that in the pole barn on a concrete so it's nice and flat because this is really lumpy area and if you get that part lined up incorrectly, nightmare scenario, okay? Uh, I learned that the hard way when I bought the other um, high tunnel, well, it's more like a, a middle tunnel, I guess, uh, that we, tur we uh, turned into a greenhouse, but I had to pull that one out of the ground. Uh, the lady that sold it to me, and uh, which is great, but when they built it, it wasn't lined up correctly, and I had to like deal with that nightmare. Um, so, yeah, when you do it, make sure you're doing it right. Make sure you're, you're doing this on a flat surface um, so that once we did that part, and now we're over here, and we're in the process of putting the arches on. And as you can see, we got four that aren't completed yet. And then we have the other ones that we still have to do that are on the ground right there. Let's take a close look and let me show you those parts real quick. Okay, so what you're looking at is one of the pieces that we haven't put up yet. And this is the connector I was telling you about that connects the two pieces together. Uh, now, if we were to do this on the ground, it's not completely leveled. Um, so, like I said, do it on a piece of uh, on concrete where it's nice and, and level. So, um, these particular pieces did not come with holes pre-drilled, so we had to drill them in. And then, um, once we got them lined up nice and straight, the, the, the bend is facing upwards. Um, and uh, we put the screws on the bottom, that way they're not on top. Uh, which is going to end up damaging the plastic um, and eventually we'll probably end up putting duct tape over this anyway um, but yeah you don't want to put your screws on the top where it's hitting the plastic because it will damage the plastic in the long run uh, so try to avoid that so uh, but that's the two pieces that we got going on and uh, that is what is what you see already on we have a I think it's a Eight foot ladder, ten foot ladder. I yeah, know. I think it's an eight foot ladder. Um, and you are going to need a, at least a ten foot ladder to get all the way up there to connect the two together. So, uh, just wanted to show you guys real quick uh, how we're doing this with our by ourselves. And I have the ladder here. I grabbed one of the um, pipes. Kathy's on the other side. I lift it up. She slides it in. Um, there are some issues also when you're getting these pipes. Just another quick tip that um, one of these were bent, just slightly bent, not enough, but enough to make it hard so it wouldn't go in. So I had to, you know, kind of hammer it on one corner uh, to fix that issue. And other times you'll see like um, pieces of metal that might be around here, also that might make it hard to slide in. You're like, what the hell's going on? You have to use a file um, to, to, to smooth that out. So that's what we did on some of these uh, issues. So. But, um, but yeah, so that's where we are now, and uh, hopefully we'll get this up in the next couple of weeks. Um, and um, I'll be able to show you the, the final result, and we still have to do uh, the wood on the bottom. Uh, I think we have to put wood on the top. I'm not sure if you're going to put wood on the top because I think you could put the double wiggle wire track uh, directly on the pipes. So that's optional. A lot of stuff going on, um, and I gotta do some serious catching up with you guys. So, but I'm back. We're gonna start cranking up some more videos and uh, show you guys what's been going on. All right. So you guys take care, and I'll see you soon.